Okay, we're talking grammar again. I have got a sentence from page 19 of Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers. It's a pretty short sem sentence, and in a lot of ways it's kind of easy, I guess. But there's one thing here that often trips people up, so let's take a look. The sentence is, people don't rise from nothing. So if we ask ourselves, you know, who or what is this sentence about, we figure out that it's people, so people is our sub subject. It's a noun, and in fact, it's a common noun, okay? Um, it's capitalized, but it's only capitalized because it's the beginning of the sentence. Now, what are people doing? Okay, they are rising. People do not rise. So we can identify rise as our verb, and it's actually our main verb, okay? But it's got a helping verb. We've got to ask ourselves, though, is don't our helping verb? And the answer to that is yes and no. Don't is what we call a contraction. Um, if you think about the word contract, it means to make smaller. So a contraction is something that, you know, makes smaller two words. So our two words would be do, not. We make them smaller into one word, don't, using the apostrophe. So don't is a contraction, and we're actually going to break it up into do and not separately. Do is our helping verb. Verb helping. But what's not? Can I not something? As a verb, no, I can't. I can K-N-O-T something. I can not a piece of rope, but I can't N-O-T something, right? So here that makes not an adverb, okay? Because it's describing the verb. It's describing the action of the rising. People do not rise, okay? So people, subject, helping verb do, adverb not. Rise is our main verb. And then we've got one of these little prepositional phrases at the end, right? People don't rise from nothing. So from is our preposition. And we've learned that prepositions have objects, and nothing here is our object. Object of preposition. So it's a pretty short sentence, um, but it's not as simple as it seems. So a lot of times you'll have an adverb tucked in between a main verb and a helping verb, and it gets even more tricky whenever that um, adverb is contracted into a contraction like don't.